Um, one of the things that I love taking to the beach is lunch. You know, um, take a good book, uh, a blanket, maybe some magazines, and a really fun lunch. And you know, have a lot of sandwiches, um, and they can get a little boring. So I try and change things up and take along to the beach a nice uh, container of fresh pasta salad. Love pasta salads, especially in the summer. Um, and I'm always looking for new, different, fun pasta salad recipes. In fact, Sunday is my, normally my big cooking day, so I'll throw together a big batch of pasta salad, and then we'll eat it all week long, whether we're going to the beach or not. Great to pack in lunch bags, nice to have in the refrigerator for a nice light dinner or lunch. And this one is a little different. Lots of great flavors, and it's actually pretty healthy. It's a nice, light Greek pasta salad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my pasta into my boiling water. And I'm using the... Um, Rotini pasta, which is like the corkscrew pasta, just because it's kind of fun, something a little different. So today's show is all about having some fun at the beach. So this is, you know, a fun pasta, one that the kids really like. And everything, um, the dressing really sticks well to this pasta. So season up your pasta water. And then a, a really key thing when it comes to making pasta salad is don't overcook the pasta. If you overcook the pasta, when you go to toss it all together with the dressing, the pasta will get mushy, just like, you know, um, uh, you overcook pasta when you're doing it in a casserole. Nobody likes mushy pasta. So cook it definitely al dente. Uh, same goes for if you're making potato salad in the summer. Don't overcook the potatoes, because then when you go to mix everything all together, the potatoes turn into more like mashed potatoes, which isn't a good thing. Um, so you want them a little bit, you know, the pasta or your potatoes for your potato salad, a little bit firm to the bite is, I guess, what I'm looking for. All right, now I'm going to get to work while our pasta is cooking on a homemade uh, vinaigrette dressing. You know, we're going to the beach, you're gonna be uh, the sun coming down. I don't wanna have to worry about any kind of a mayonnaise-based salad, so we're keeping this nice and light with a homemade vinaigrette. And, um, you know, making homemade salad dressings just is so easy once you get into the swing of it. Collect a, a couple of different oils, a couple of different vinegars, pick yourself up, or you probably already got one, a clean ball canning jar, or just a mayonnaise jar, or any kind of a jar with a lid. Wash it out really well, and uh, once you have a few different vinegars, oils, uh, dried herbs, you're already in the salad making business. Uh, this dressing, because it's got a lot of Greek flavors, I'm going to use red wine vinegar. So whenever I'm shaking up a dressing in these ball canning jars, I start with the acid first, which in this case I'm using uh, red wine vinegar, a third of a cup. Uh, some of my homemade salad dressings call for lemon juice or different vinegars. Some of the, the vinegars I like to collect to have on hand, and by the way, these aren't expensive vinegars. Uh, you can get them right at the grocery store. We're talking apple cider vinegar, red wine vinegar, balsamic vinegar. And for a little bit of a splurge, but again, just a couple of bucks a bottle, you can get it right at the grocery store. I'll do like a white wine vinegar or white balsamic vinegar. Now, if you want to go beyond that, certainly stop at one of those specialty stores and pick up some really fun flavored, um, you know, blood orange vinegar, some of the different fun flavors, and then you can really go crazy. Some of the oils I like to collect, olive oil, canola oil, um, you know, uh, vegetable oil. Once you have those basic things on hand, like I say, making homemade dressings is really easy. And then, you know, if you're going up to Door County or some of the other wonderful specialty shops, pick up some, you know, Tuscan uh, flavored olive oil or, or some lemon, Meyer lemon flavored olive oil. And then you just, all of a sudden, you start collecting different um, oils and vinegars. I have a whole shelf in my pantry with just different oils and vinegars. So whenever I, you know, uh, need some sort of a salad dressing, I've got the stuff right there. All right, so in goes, first of all, your acid, which in this case, a third of a cup of red wine vinegar. And next goes our herbs. You can use fresh herbs. This recipe we're going to keep super simple and use things that we already have on hand. I've got two teaspoons of dried basil and two teaspoons of dried oregano. And that goes into our vinegar. Then I've got two teaspoons of garlic powder and a little bit of salt and pepper right into our, our canning jar here. So I'm going to get those going first, shake the vinegar up with the herbs, and that'll kind of bring them back to life. And then most of my dressing recipes are about uh, one part oil or one part vinegar to three parts oil. That's kind of a general rule of thumb. Not, they're not all like that, uh, but in this, if you pretty much go with that rule, you're in, in business. So in this case, a third of a cup of red wine vinegar to one cup of olive oil. When I'm using balsamic vinegar in dressings, I usually uh, do 
uh, a little less oil because it's a sweeter vinegar. So then you shake this up, and when you shake it up, it thickens, and it will coat, in this case, if you're doing a, a you know, pasta salad, it's going to coat the pasta. If you're doing just a regular green salad, mixed green salad, it's going to coat the lettuce leaves. But it thickens as you shake it. And my chef friends use the big word emulsify. Uh, you can certainly whisk this together in a bowl, and you'll get the same effect. But I just love the idea of using a jar. It keeps everything, the mess, everything in there. Uh, and then if you have extra dressing, this whole jar can just be stored in the fridge. And this is going to be good in the fridge for about two weeks. All right. So there's our dressing, done. I'm going to get to work on some of the different vegetables that we're putting in the salad. Uh, I'm, I'm you know, doing some wonderful Greek flavors in this salad. So I've got uh, some sliced Kalamata olives or just regular black olives. Uh, you can pick up pitted Kalamata olives. They have them right at festival and just slice them up yourself. Uh, if those are a little strong of a flavor for you, just regular ripe black sliced olives will work. A uh, cucumber in the salad just keeps some nice crunch, nice and fresh. I love using... Um, the English seedless cucumbers because they're real easy to work with and they don't have the seeds that you have to worry about. Now if you have cucumbers in your garden or you go to the farmer's market to get them and they look a little seedy, just take the seeds out with a spoon and you can use those too. Um, I also love the fact that you don't have to peel these English cucumbers. So uh, if you're using regular cucumbers, maybe just peel them or peel a little bit of the peel away and then chunk them up, seed them a little bit. It's all going to work just fine. So basically, we've got our cucumbers here. Now I'm going to use some red pepper just for color, some great color in the salad. Red pepper is also so good for you. So you can just cut that into little pieces or strips. I like a lot going on in my pasta salads. I think pasta salads can get a little boring. So it's really fun if you've got lots of color, lots of great flavor, crunch. So we'll just slice this up. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm always looking for new, different, fun salad recipes. So if you have some or some great ideas on what to take to the beach, please email us your ideas and recipes. We love hearing from you. We really do. You got to see the desserts we're going to be making coming up. They are the cutest ever. There are these cupcakes, inner tube cupcakes. You just got to see them. They're going to put a smile on your face. And then sand dollar cookies, which are super cute, too. OK, so chunked up my red pepper. Now I've got some uh, chicken breasts. Uh, you, this is optional for this recipe, but I like to you know, make it a whole meal then. And then it can be a nice light dinner. Or a really, uh, you know, you're going to be at the beach. Maybe you're going to be doing some swimming. Uh, you need a little extra protein. I love to throw some chicken in this pasta salad. You certainly don't have to. You can keep it vegetarian. Uh, if you're grilling chicken on a Sunday or at your cookout, grill a couple extra boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Use them in pasta salads and, and recipes during the week. If you don't have the energy to grill up chicken, pick up a rotisserie chicken. Already done for you. Um, they have them at festival all the time. Just, you know, shred up the, the chicken or, or dice it up. They actually have, this is the greatest thing ever, pre-grilled chicken breasts right in the deli at Festival Foods. You can use them in all sorts of recipes. So you can just give those a quick dice or, or chop them up, and we're going to throw them in this recipe. Doesn't get any easier than that. Just want to check on our pasta. And we're just about ready to put this all together. And it's just that quick and easy. And this is going to make a nice big batch. You're going to have probably plenty for the beach and then some leftovers afterwards. Okay. Just want to check on my salad here. Or my pasta, I should say. Perfect, not overcooked. And remember, it's going to continue to cook a little bit even when you're draining it in your colander. The heat is going to continue to cook it. So I want to stop that cooking in this case, run some cool water over it. And now we're ready to start putting this salad all together. Drain it real well. Get the biggest bowl you have to throw this together because this makes a big batch, and if you don't, your entire kitchen is going to be wearing the pasta salad. So in goes our cucumber and our peppers and our chicken breasts. Now I've got some finely diced red onion just to give it some nice onion flavor. 
talked about those Kalamata olives. And if you don't like certain, some of these ingredients, you don't, not a big olive person, not a big deal, just leave them out. Also, um, take some grape or cherry tomatoes, or if you've got a lot of tomatoes in your garden, just seed and dice the tomatoes. They work really well in here. And then I've got some feta cheese, which love, love, love putting a little cheese in my pasta salad. Crumble that in here. Now we just want to take our dressing. And this is something you could make the night before. But I always say when it comes to doing pasta salads, if you're going to make this a few hours or the night or even the day before, before you serve it, do the old dressing check. And that means check to see if it needs a little bit more of the dressing. So first we'll start out and use about three quarters of this dressing. But we'll refrigerate the rest. And before you head out for a day at the beach, and if it's been in the refrigerator for a little bit, uh, what happens is the pasta and all the other ingredients tend to really, um, you know, soak up that dressing. So uh, add the little bit more of that dressing right before you head to the beach or right before you're serving it at your summer party or picnic. All right. Also right before serving, I love to add some fresh herbs. And in this cake, uh, case, a very wonderful fresh herb to use, and you'll find it in a lot of Greek recipes, is some fresh mint. Or maybe you're growing it in your herb garden. So I'm just going to take a little bit of fresh mint. And how I do fresh mint is just like you would fresh basil. I stack up my leaves and do um, a chiffonade, roll them up. And then just take a knife, and you get these nice ribbons of mint. And this is something you'll do right before serving, or right before you pack this up to the beach. And it's going to give it a nice, just fresh, fresh taste with that little bit of mint in there with the cucumbers. Cucumbers and mint go so well together, and with the tomatoes. And then you could do a little bit of fresh feta cheese on the top. So there you go, a nice, big, delicious, and healthy Greek pasta salad Recipes on our website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods. Coming up, some more beachy fun. We've got some great decorating ideas. If you're having a real uh, fun pool party or a beach theme party, and some more really awesome recipes, some great treats to take along to the beach. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs>